Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to start the process of planting my cool season vegetables. My uh, midsummer vegetables are pretty much uh, burning out. Still getting lots of peppers, still getting lots of okra. Tomatoes have pretty much quit on me. There's a few flowers left on them, but it definitely won't have enough time. So I spent some of this morning here pulling out, um, starting to pull out some of the tomatoes. And I've got some compost uh, that I had actually left over from the spring that I had purchased. And I'm putting some, putting some of that compost uh, into the space where I'm planting lettuce uh, this morning. I wanted to show you, um, maybe a little less than three weeks ago, I put up a video on uh, seeding all of my cool season vegetables. And here we are a uh, very short time later. I wanted to kind of go through this process. I showed in that video that I used um, compost uh, and a little bit of perlite actually uh, in this mix uh, this time around. These are 50 cell trays. I've got a light rack in the house uh, that I use. Uh, uh, you can seed these things outside um, in, in, in some good light and, uh, and, uh, and do that as well. But uh, I do find that I get a really consistent outcome by using the uh, light rack um, inside. So you can go back and look at that video on how I built the light rack. As soon as these seeds germinated, um, I started the process of using a fish emulsion fertilizer, which I just mixed with water. Um, you can get fish emulsion fertilizer on Amazon or the garden center near you, wherever. Um, but it's very effective. About every other watering I do, I'm using some fish, a little bit of fish emulsion in the water. Uh, these trays have a solid tray on the bottom, so I'm able just to water in the tray itself uh, and not um, over the top of the uh, soil. I mean, I'm dealing with electricity in there with the lights, but um, you can see uh, between the, the very bright lights and the uh, fish emulsion, how fast from a seed to a ready to go in the ground plant. My 13 year old Husky mix loves attention and she managed to get into the only path uh, to get back to where I'm working and uh, lay down. And so there's no way you can't give her attention in that space. She's in the way of the cleaning up the pile of tomato plants the cart, um, the tripod, and uh, where I'm planting uh, lettuce this morning. Stay. He bringing that thing back. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> you silly boy. So I have lots of variety. Uh, there are several different uh, leaf lettuces. Um, we're kind of at the point uh, now that uh, if you haven't started something from seed, unless you're in the very deep south, you probably need to go and get plants at this point. Most garden centers are going to have plants available for broccoli and cauliflower and, and lettuce and kale, collards, uh, all the things that I have here. Uh, butter crunch lettuce is one of my favorites and it's super, super easy. I mean, you put this in a, in a container in the sun or in the ground in a, a small amount of compost, uh, blend and uh, you can just start picking lettuce almost immediately. I can actually this morning in the process of planting these uh, take some of the leaves. I can probably get a salad out of this this morning without hurting these plants. Uh, there's some kohlrabi. Kohlrabi is like a spicy turnip. Um, got two different kinds of kale. Uh, got some pot choy, uh, broccoli, uh, Swiss chard, uh, lots of different variety. This morning I'm concentrating that spot. Um, so I've, I've removed a lot of tomatoes. Uh, from a couple rows back there. I've added a little bit of compost. I'm going to plant some of my leaf lettuces. It's very important if your leaf lettuce is going in the ground, if you have rabbits, you need to put something around it. So I've got a deer fence I'm going to be putting around it. Uh, once these are in the ground and they're just planted flush in the compost, uh, once they're in the ground, I'm gonna add a small amount of, uh, uh, of organic fertilizer and that's it. I'm gonna water them and uh, fall, vegetables, especially especially the lettuces uh, and collards and, and any of the edible greens are really, really easy, um, in my opinion, uh, to grow. Uh, don't plant them too close together. Uh, slugs can be an issue. Um, it's still warm enough that we have slug problems. So, you know, keep, keep that in mind that uh, um, a little bit of space between them actually goes a long way to get some air around the bottom of them to allow the plants to actually fill out and uh, get bigger, better leaves than if they were really crammed together, giving pest a place to hide. So that's my process. Um, I've, um, over the course of the next couple of weeks, the rest of my uh, summer vegetables will come out and all of these things will go in. And if you're following me here on YouTube and over on Instagram, uh, you can see uh, how they turn out this fall. Thanks for watching.